Hello, everybody. Today I am back once again playing Disney Sorcerer's Arena. I know there's been a lot this week, but I, you guys asked for that. And I've got these two characters to showcase. I also have two characters um, that are ready to be showcased as well. Genie and uh, Sally. But I think I'll wait till next week to start working on that since, like I said, I've been doing a video on this basically every day this week. So I'll take a little break from it for a while. And uh, yeah, so I already did the unlocking videos and leveled up both uh, Merida and where is she? And Jasmine. So they're both ready to go. Uh, hopefully they can stand their ground in the Heroes campaign. I'll be going through as much as I can today. And uh, yeah, let's let's bring them in here. I'm interested to see uh, Raja in action. I've seen him be. Oh, I forgot to do that. Dang it. Okay. So I'm also doing a new skill today. I'm gonna do the dad's moves, or I guess dad moves. And this is from onward. I spent some some gems that I had to unlock this. I don't know if that's the only way to unlock him. Or if you can get him through the event, or I'm not really sure, but uh, I figured I would just go through so I could have some more spells to showcase. So yeah, once again going back into the the heroes campaign, putting in Merida and Jasmine again, and bringing in the dad's moves. And I didn't really look and see what the dad's moves does, so I guess we'll find out once we go into it. And I guess I'll switch around Buzz and um, and Ariel since they are since she's the leader, and she's the only one that does have the leadership ability. I guess I wish I could give it to Buzz. He's a lot stronger than her. Uh, so yeah, maybe I should go manually so I can also see their moves here. Here's Merida's second skill. Just shoots a couple of arrows. All right. Um, we can bring out Raja, and he, uh, he, what is that called? He taunts, so that everybody is forced to attack him, which is, is nice because, um, you know, that's basically his whole reason of being here, is that, uh, I don't want to be attacked anymore, so if everybody focuses on him, then, uh, then I can get in a few more hits. And he even can attack them. So he's helpful as well. And we'll do Merida's third skill here. I also see those two wisps around her. I'm not sure what that's about. Or are, are those even wisps? I think they are, right? Am I wrong? Um, I haven't seen Brave in a long time, so if there's some references to her movie that I'm not aware of, uh, that, I guess that's just my bad. But yeah, this, this battle is only two rounds, so we should be fine, even if we didn't have our characters leveled up uh, as much as they are. I have Ariel, see, she, Merida died before I even got to do that one attack. Um, Ariel, Jack Sparrow, and Buzz Lightyear are all pretty leveled up, so they, sh they should be able to hold their ground even if the new heroes can't. Um, I guess we're gonna charm you because you're taunting. And then, yeah, we should get him in the next few attack. We get to see Dad's moves in action. So it just silences them, that's it. Um, not as, not as great as I was hoping. But okay. See, I wanted him to use the charm that I gave him. But he never even attacked. But yeah, we should be fine. I use Raja to distract him while I take him out. So that wasn't so bad. I did lose Merida, but she is only one star, keep in mind. I only got enough of her to unlock her. So she she's definitely going to be weaker than at least Jasmine. 
but we still have to see what her, her third skill is. I'm interested to see what it is. Uh, and I guess it doesn't, um, it doesn't start right away and I wonder if that's just because she's not leveled up enough because usually it feels like um, everybody starts out with the max amount of, um, of like XP or whatever you want to call it that they can do the highest attack like that. Uh, but I guess either she doesn't or I just need to level her up more. So we just got this last guy here. Um, Raja is still taunting, so we'll be fine. Does Raja come with us if we move on to the next round? So there's Merida's uh, skill. She shot that target. And that's definitely her hardest hitting attack. He didn't even hit. Okay. So yeah, Raja stays with us. That's really good. He's still taunting one more round. So we should be safe. Oh wait, no, because he's going to move before they attack. So... Uh, I guess he won't be taunting when they attack. So Raja can just live, I guess. I don't think that usually happens, especially in like against actual people. In like an arena mode, Raja would probably die within the first two rounds. See, now he's dead. But uh, yeah, this one was also just only uh, two battles, so I'm not really afraid of losing this one either. I think the next one will be a boss with three rounds, but I'm actually not sure. Um, I think that's usually how it goes, right? There are two regular battles and then one boss battle. I thought he was going to kill her for a second. Alright, so we got three stars on that one. Went pretty well. We got to see Merida's third skill. Like I said, it's her most powerful one for sure. Uh, and yeah, let's see who the boss is going to be this time. Uh, yeah, so there, there are three battles this time. And I think I'll do... If, it, if this battle ends up taking a while, this will be the last one. But otherwise, I'll do one or two more after this one. Just kind of working on the Heroes campaign a little bit more. Uh, dang it, I should have attacked him. I really hate that guy's... Um, the arrows, because it hits everybody, and it hits them for a pretty good amount of damage, I would say. Not ideal. He's still alive. Uh, I'm just gonna kill him. I don't care. We'll get him here. Maybe I should have took the, the the chance to heal, but we'll we'll probably be okay, right? No one's gonna die. We'll be fine, right? No, Merit is almost dead. <laughs> I probably should have healed, and the next chance I get, I will. Let's stun you so you don't do that ever again. He's taunting now. So yeah, Merida's initial two skills with her only being at one star and at only tier two, she really doesn't do all that much. Um, she's a good person to use if, like with that guy in the back, he has so little health left. Um, I think he'd be a pretty good one to, to use Merida's skills for. And she's now dead, so uh, I guess we don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> I'll use the dad moves just because I don't think it's all that helpful. I don't even know, what, what is, is there any way to look and see what Silence does? Because I actually don't know, and um, who ha Davy Jones I'm pretty sure has that. I don't even know what it does. Is it good? Like would it be beneficial to bring in dad's moves? I don't see it on any of the, the tier lists or anything, so I kind of doubt that it's all that good. But, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know anything about the silence move, really. I want to take this guy out as soon as possible. Maybe I can stun him? Do I have that yet? Oh, but I should definitely stun Gaston. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. 
Or maybe I should have charmed Gaston and stunned him. Maybe I was thinking correctly. Let's bring in Raja. Uh, Gaston will attack him next. And that guy's dead. This guy will be dead when we turn around. Oh, so he's taunting. Instead of attacking, he just taunted. Uh, let's heal, I guess. Jasmine's at full health. But I feel like she could die with like a single hit, right? Let's stun him again. I, I also like Buzz Lightyear because his moves take, takes a little time to recharge. Uh, so it, it is... It, you can stun uh, a lot of characters in a lot, very little time. Which is something I really appreciate. And I don't see a lot of people using Buzz. But for now, uh, in these earlier stages, and since I already have him so level up, uh, I think he's pretty useful for me. Uh, we'll have him attack Raja again, unless he, yeah, he just taunted, which does absolutely nothing for him whatsoever. Uh, but makes it a little easier for us to win, right? Yeah. So there we go. I'll do one or two more. Um, I guess we'll see how long the next one takes. I doubt it'll take that long. I think I can also give Sean Yu another, um, what are they called? The things that you equip on them. So you get them the next tier. They're not badges, but I'm not sure what you call them. But I think I can equip another one to Sean Yu now. After the stuff I got from the last round. So that's, that's good. Uh, bring out Raja. You will die in the next attack. Uh, yeah, you can definitely see the enemies getting a lot stronger. Um, luckily, Merida was able to take him out before I had to use another character for that. But yeah, these cards are really a lot stronger. Like, almost to the, the health that uh, Gaston had. Like, they're taking a long time to kill. Oh, I should have healed again. I guess I don't need to heal. Look at Only Buzz is hurt. I'm gonna save that for the next round. We only got one guy attacking now. So we might as well just... Oh my... He killed her? Hmm. Can't believe that. I don't even think Merida had taken a single hit and that card just killed it. Sorry if you were interested in seeing Merida, because clearly she's the, the weak link <coughs> of my team today. Uh, when I do Genie and Sally, they're both like three stars, I think. So they shouldn't be as weak as uh, some of the ones I showcase, like Merida, for example. And that's the reason Merida's so low is because, or is that even true? Is she still uh, one star to unlock? Because most of the characters that were one star uh, in the beta were changed to take a little bit longer to uh, unlock. Uh, and I don't remember if Merida is one of the ones that change or not. I, I kind of think she isn't now that I think about it. Um, but like the... I'm trying to think of some... Randall used to be a one-star character and you could unlock him with 10 of his chips and now you need uh, 80 to unlock him. So that's a pretty drastic change. But there are still some one-star ca characters like the... like Stitch and Hero who aren't available yet. And I wonder if that'll change when they actually are available. Uh, because... If they're not available, I guess there was no point to changing them, but when they out do become available, I wonder if they would decide then to do it. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that'll be my last level for today. Uh, I'm just at about 15 minutes here, which seems like a good cutoff. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll go back. And I'll be, like I said, I'll be unlocking Genie and Sally. Probably not this week, but I'll do it next week, I, I, I assume. 
I'll give this a Sean Yu as well. I want to get him up. Since he's my strongest character already, I might as well get him to be as strong as he can be. And then work on some other characters after that. So yeah, uh, I also have some spells coming in. I'll have the Zap one from Lethal One Stitch soon. And Dumbo as well. And I already have Duke Kaboom ready to showcase. So yeah, uh, a lot of stuff coming soon. And I hope you're excited for it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.